Hello, it's Diane and I'm back to work on the Boho Journal some more. Today, this is what I want to do. Um, I have a pocket here, a little side pocket, that I cov uh, used uh, this beautiful Bohemian girl as a, the cover image for the pocket and then this little sequined and embroidered piece. And then I put this sheer fabric over it. This came with one of my Boho bundles that I bought from somebody this little embroidered flower so pretty so I just kind of use that as a veil for her face and it's a fabric flip but it looks like a veil and then a little piece of shirred um, sheer fabric up there and a piece of trim and a tag inside so that's what we're gonna make this morning and well it's actually afternoon now it's raining today all day raining heavily we have flash flood warnings but I live on a hill, so not to worry. But, um, what do I do with the other one? There she is. One of the journal, one of the journal covers that I made has this image on it, so that journal will have this image on this page instead. But, so let's do this one first. So I have just stuck down the image onto a piece of craft cardstock. I'm going to stitch around. Actually, I'll just stitch this edge, and then I'll stitch it to the pocket, which will adhere the rest of it down. Oh, I forgot. I ran out of bobbin thread last night before I quit. So, I should have done this before I started the video, but I already started the video once and had to stop it because I got one of those phone calls you don't want, just to trying to sell you something phone call so that was a pain that they interrupted my video so I'm just gonna wind my bobbin and while I do that I can tell you um, today's my birthday and if you you may have already seen these because I ordered these from Amazon about a month ago and put them away when they came because it was my birthday present to myself. So I can't wait to start playing with these. But I um, hope you can hear me okay. This one is Imaginary Characters by Karen O'Brien. She has some really cute characters and I think I've seen her work in um, Art Journaling Magazine. I am keeping an eye on my bobbin. I have two by Jane Davenport, Beautiful Faces and Fabulous Figures. And Mixed Media Girls with Susie Blue. So I'm looking forward to playing with them. Okay, my bobbin's full. So, I think I mentioned before that it seems like the only time I get real good time for, you know, like blocks of time in my studio is on the weekends so I want to change that and make sure people know that I am working this is my job now and see if I can thread this without sticking my face right down in front of it I guess I can't um, so I have to make sure that I get work done during the week so that I can play with collages and art journaling and things like that on weekends and play with those new books that I just got. Okay, I am sorry. Looks like we're all set now. And do I need to turn this over? Just a little maybe. Now I'm going to just stitch this edge down because I'm not going to sew this side to the page because it's a pocket. It's stuffy in here. I had to go to the I had to go to the post office and then Walmart. I needed some copy paper, some of my heavy copy paper that I use so that I could print these images. 
So when I got back, I had some lunch and turned my air conditioner on in here while I had lunch to get the room cooler for me. And when I came in to do my work here, I thought it wasn't very cool in here. And then I remembered that I had switched it to fan mode the other day. So all I did was have a fan blowing. Well, that didn't do much. I needed a few sheets of plain copy paper, coffee dyed. So I did some of those before I got to come up here. I'd like to get up in the morning and just come in my room and get to work, but there's always other stuff I have to do first. All right, so here's her. I'm going to find some sheer fabric to be her little veil. Make sure that the embroidered piece looks right. Oh dear. How long has that been out of focus? Okay. I hope not since I turned the camera. Um, let's see. I don't want it coming out of her chin. Oh, it almost looks like an earring if I put it there. I like that. I don't, I don't know if I have enough of these pretty sheer pieces to do all of the pages like this. But I'll do what I can. Do you remember when I was talking about my little thread scissors that I couldn't find? Well, I gave up and I got tired of trying to snip threads with my dull scissors that I had to snip four or five times to get them to cut. So I bought another pair of thread scissors. So then I was rearranging a few couple of things in the guest room and I switched out a, a little bookcase. I got a, it's, it's a long story, but I had to switch out a bookcase. When I moved the bookcase that was in there, the scissors were behind it. I have no, whoops, I just cut the paper. I have no idea how those scissors ended up behind the little bookcase in the guest room. So now I have two pairs. I knew, I knew when I bought a new pair that I would find the other other pair. So I'm, I want this to stay right there. So it looks like that is an earring on her ear. This image is so pretty. Okay, now I can use these pieces that I trimmed off to be the gathered piece at the top of one of the others. I want a little piece of lace, like crochet trim there. dark pink one. And a piece of fabric that I can gather at the top. So something lightweight would look nice. going to stitch this with a basting stitch.
coffee dyed some paper today so my fingers look dirty again. I I put um, latex gloves on this time, but I didn't I did a few more pieces after I took the gloves off. I want to try to get as much done as I can on this on these journals today because my kids are going to be coming over later. My daughter is going to take me out for lunch or for dinner for my birthday and I think my son and his family are coming over when he gets out of work so that they can give me their birth my birthday present. So he gets out of work at 2. So I just want to get as much done here as I can before they come. I need a little bit of jeweled sequin stuff down here. I'm trying to be, you know, I want to be able to use my pieces without fretting about them, you know, because that's what they're there for. But I need to save some for future journals too because I have other ki kinds of boho journals that I want to make with those other kinds of covers that I mentioned in the previous video but I don't want to be too stingy with them either I want these books to be glorious thinking about cutting that piece out I think I made a pocket out of a piece of that did I make the pocket out of it? Maybe not. I was thinking about making the pocket out of it, but I didn't. So I think I want it to be small, so I'm going to just cut this little piece out in the middle. This was a bigger piece, and I did cut a piece off of it. So I thought I was going to make a pocket out of it. Here's the other piece I cut off. I should have cut that. Oh well, too late now. Okay, so that will just be glued down. Is that all I need? Where's my original page? Oh, yep, that's all I need. So I'm going to sew this down. And this. I have to sew a little piece of paper here because I accidentally cut that um, cut that paper when I was supposed to be cutting the fabric. I think I'll just sew this little piece here. It'll be decorative too. But I don't want to sew that veil down so I'll just glue it. I should probably sew before I glue, right? Let's not get this on anything. Hopefully it won't dry before I'm ready to stick it down. Let's get your brain together here, Diane. Well, I am a year older now, so have to make allowances. I think I'll just do this piece first.
My friend Gail got an awesome birthday present. Gail Agostinelli. I'm sure most of you know her. Um, we message each other several times a week. And she told me that she has some arty friends, artsy friends that she gets together with that have August birthdays and they get together and just celebrate their birthdays together and exchange gifts. Well, her friend gave her, I hope she doesn't mind me telling this, I don't think she would. Her friend gave her 100 sheets of coffee dyed paper. I thought about that while I was coffee dyeing paper today. I hate, I, I don't like coffee dyeing paper. I love having coffee dyed paper, but I hate taking the time to do it and getting my hands stained and my kitchen a mess. But I love having them. So what an awesome gift that was. Kudos to your friend, Gail. That looks quite lovely. On to the next one. Oh, and uh, each one will have one of these cards that I previously made. I like this one. Husband and wife. Oh, I glued the pocket closed. It's a good thing I caught that before it dried. I just let it hang off, but not glued. So I'll let that wait a bit. Okay. Now I know the remaining pictures are going to be these. You don't have to watch me do all of them, but I'll do one more. My window's open right next to us because, like I said, it's stuffy in here. But it's not helping much. There isn't much air, but I'm sure you can hear the traffic on the wet roads. I've got some things in my shop that I want to move, move out. So I did some marking down last night. So I was going to do a video. I'm not done with that yet. What am I doing? Uh, I was going to do a video on the pieces that I marked down, but I want to get busy on these. So. I'll probably eventually do that video, but you can go to my shop. It doesn't show which ones are on sale. I just changed the prices. I don't really know how to make it show up that it's marked down. So eventually I'll do a video showing which ones I marked down. The piano rolls I marked down. I still have a few of those. trying to find that same trim that I used. Maybe I left it out. But who can tell with all this mess? Well, maybe I'll have to use a different trim. sheer piece to go over her face. What are we going to use for that?
my organized pieces aren't so organized anymore. My covers are up too much. a little too small. That one's not quite sheer enough. Here's the piece that I used for the first one. It's a beautiful ombre effect. see her face. That's right in front of her face. Okay, I guess we'll go with some more of this one. See it starts out green and then melds into this beautiful peach color. trim that piece off and put a flower in her hair. good like that. Maybe I'll do it that way. Just making it a little narrower. Now this piece had, this was the one edge of the piece, so it has that edging on it. So I'm thinking I might want to put some edging on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to like sewing on this very, very sheer and flimsy fabric. These are fussy journals that I'm making, but I think they're going to be worth it. These fabrics, as I said yesterday, are not stable. They shift and move while you're sewing and cutting.
just don't want to put that flower over her eye. gather this piece up I'm going to leave some of the threads. Um, Now I just need a sparkly piece. Let me see if I can cut something off one of these pieces. I think what I might do is cut this off, but I need to use something that will cut through the metal, so I'm not going to do that on camera. So all I have to do is, is glue down a decorative piece there, and this is done. Um, okay, we're at half an hour, so that's it for now, and I will do another video after I finish the other pockets. Bye.